Okay, so this antibody blood group system is going to be Lewis. And so that's going to be LEA and LEB. So these are kind of special. They're different than a lot of the other ones. They are not alleles. We talked about most of the other ones are codominant alleles. So these are not alleles. They're actually plasma antigens. And they absorb onto the red blood cells. So where are the other ones usually? Uh, your other antigens, where do they usually show up? On the red blood cell. Uh-huh, on the surface of the red blood cell. So these are plasma antigens that absorb onto the red blood cell. And so they are found in secretions and in plasma. And so what comes to mind when you're talking about secretions and um, your genetics? Specifically secretions. So that, that'd be like your secretor status, correct? So this yeah. system, the Lewis system, depends on the H, S, E, and then the LE genes. So it's taking, you know, you need, um, you need your H specificity to be able to build your ABO antigen system. And then you have to have either big S, little E, or little S, little E to be a secretor or not. And so this is just one step further in this process. So you've got your, your specificity, your secretor status, and now your Lewis blood group system. So the system depends on um, your genetic, um, like age specificity, your secretor status, and um, now your LE genes. So um, LE is needed for LEA. And let me type this out and then I can um, explain it a little better too. So LE is needed for LEA. You need LE and secretor status to have LEB. So, so far, which one's uh, more likely to happen? More likely to have what? Um, LEA or LEB? Which one's the easiest process to, to show? B. It's going to be your LEA because it just requires your uh, Lewis antigen. But if you have LEB, you need to have a Lewis antigen and be a secretor. Okay. And uh, so it's a conversion process for the LEB. So you have LEA, and then if you are also a secretor, you can convert that LEA into LEB. So it's a conversion process. So if you are LEA negative and um, B negative, then that is going to be, LELE, um, -L -E, just like um, if you're a secretor, um, you'll be little s, or I mean if you're not a secretor, you'll be little s, little e, little s, little e. And so if you're LEA negative and B negative, it is written out as LE, LE in all little letters. And that is more common in African Americans.
and these are going to be poorly expressed at birth. Then our Lewis antibodies, they are produced by the LEA negative, B negative. And so what's the, how is that written out? If there are LEA negative, B negative, it'll be little E, or little L, little E, little L, little E, so Lily. They are IgM. And they can be found at initial spin 37 or AHG. So they're pretty, pretty easy to find that way. Initial spin, AHG, and 37. Just keep in mind that our oops, 37 is generally your body temperature and IgM is going to be more your initial spin or room temperature. So what is the IS again? Immediate spin or initial spin. And so if they are IgM, are they clinically significant or no? No. Correct. Not clinically significant. And so they do not cause HDFN and no on cord blood cells. So do not cause HDFN and they are not on cord blood cells. Now, but, but the relation to pregnancy that this has, um, so pregnancy, Its relation to pregnancy is that pregnant women may temporarily become LEA negative, B negative. So pregnant women may become temporarily A negative, B negative. And so what happens if they're LEA negative, B negative? Can they make antibodies to it? If they're exposed to the antigen? So if they're A negative, B negative, tempor even temporarily, during that time, they can make um, antibodies to the antigen. And so the little key I have to remember this is Lewis and Leah are pregnant. The baby is okay, so it doesn't have HDFN, but Leah is likely to be negative. So that's just like a little trick to remember it's Lewis, which is your LEA, that, um, that has the association with uh, pregnant women. 
temporarily becoming negative, and in which case they can make antibodies. So your anti-LEA is going to bind complement. It may cause um, in vitro hemolysis. So where is in vitro, in the lab or in the body? Lab. In the lab. Then your anti LEB is enhanced by enzymes. And now um, another thing that you can do for Lewis is neutralization testing to confirm or eliminate reactions. So if it's not generally clinically significant and it's getting in the way of some other antibodies and find, finding out what they are, um, then that's a good process to go through is um, absorption and neutralization to, uh, to make other ones more visible.